racetrack. Whoop! The step needs fixing, and soon. Something else that needs fixing. Oh. Practically every faucet in the house drips. Everything needs fixing around here. Papa! Papa Bear! I know it's very pleasant relaxing in that hammock, but there are chores to do around here. Things that need fixing. Broken steps, loose bark, drippy faucets. Yes, dear. I'll take care of those things. Right away. Immediately. What did your father say? He said, Yes, dear. I'll take care of those things right away. Immediately. <sighs> Oh, that bear. I'd like right now some honey. Some wild, wild honey. Wild, wild honey? Oh no! Give me that wild honey. That wild, wild honey. Better than money. That wild honey. Good for what ails you. Never fails you, good for each and every single ache and pain. Liberates the spirit, nourishes the brain. <laughs> but Papa, why not some raspberry honey or some store-bought honey? Store-bought honey is meek and mild. I've got to have my honey wild. Give me that wild honey, that wild, wild honey. Better than money, that wild honey. Good for what ails ya, never fails ya. Good for each and every single ache and pain. Liberates the spirit, nourishes the brain. But Papa, you know what happened last time you went after the wild, wild honey? Yeah, those wild, wild honey bees chased you all the way home. And Mama was pulling stingers out of the seat of your pants for a week. That was last time. This time, I have a plan. A plan? Oh, no. Not a plan. That's right. An absolutely surefire can't miss plan. Guaranteed to outsmart Queen Nectar and her wild bees. A white flag? A flag of truce. I shall approach the old wild honey tree under the official safety and protection of the angel flag of truce. Good Queen Nectar will be honor bound to receive it. It's the international law of the forest. I shall compliment her. I shall pay her court. Oh, great and noble queen, beauteous and serene. Then while she's sucking up all that baloney, I just reach around with my trusty honey pot and scoop up some of that wild, wild honey. Give me that wild honey. That wild, wild honey. Better than money. That wild honey. Grown-ups of tomorrow. Well, yeah, I guess so. The leaders of tomorrow. 
why when I grow up, I may run for mayor. I bet Mayor Honeypot is quaking in his boots. And the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm mayor is open all town meetings to cubs. <coughs> Sister! And so, my friends, without further ado, if, uh, if further ado, it is indeed an onerous privilege, if, uh, I, uh, an honor and a privilege, uh, to present one of our foremost citizens, Raffish Ralph. Honor and privilege? Raffish Ralph is one of the biggest crooks in bear country. Who has a little swindle, if, uh, I mean, uh, a scheme, <laughs> a plan that will be a great goon, uh, a great boon, to all the bears of bear country. Great boon to Raffish Ralph is more like it. And so it is my great pleasure to resent, I, I, I mean to present, Raffish Ralph. He's got a nerve even showing his face after some of the stuff he's pulled. My friends, and you are my friends, this little swindle, <clears throat> plan of mine is just the thing this community has been waiting for. Just the thing to bring in visitors. Visitors to make those cash registers ring. Just the thing to liven up this town. <laughs> First slide, please. <coughs> Wrong slide. Wrong slide. That's right, friends. Giant Bat Cave, a miserable, no-account place that's of absolutely no earthly good to anybody but a bunch of worthless, squeaking bats. Well, I'm going to change Giant Bat Cave from this to this. From this to this. <laughs> Terrific! It'll bring folks to town to buy my handcrafted bear country furniture. Yes, and my preserves. I'll set up a roadside vegetable stand. Well, folks, what do you think? <laughs> it's time to vote, folks. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Nay. We can't be. Why, it's a dub, a, a, a cub. Cubs aren't old enough to vote. Sister, what are you doing here? Now, Papa, we may not be old enough to vote, but we're old enough to think. And I think this idea of Ralph taking over Giant Bat Cave is terrible, rotten, no good, and crummy. And not only that, it's unfair. Unfair to who? Unfair to bats, of course. That cave is their home, and Raffish Ralph has no right to take it away from them. Sister's right. Those bats have lived in that cave for thousands of years. It's their home, and what Ralph wants to do just wouldn't be right. But, but, but those bats have the same problem you have, Sonny. <laughs> they don't vote. <laughs> <laughs> don't you worry your pretty little head, sweetie. These are grown-up matters. But, Papa... Now, don't you two be late for supper. <sighs> Look, sis, I think you're right. But since when are you such a fan of bats? I'm not. In fact, bats make me pretty nervous. And as for a giant bat cave, yuck. But taking away the bats' home that they've lived in for thousands of years just isn't fair. It just isn't right. Oh, hi there, sweetie. Hi, hi Gramps. Gramps. Hi, hi Gramps. Hey, don't be looking so down in the mouth. But, Gramps... I like the way you stood up back there, granddaughter. Yes, sir, I like the cut of your giblets. So I'm gonna give you a little tip. What's that, Gramps? Well, when I was a cub, we used to play around that cave. Pretty scary place. And we had a little rhyme, we used to say. Giant Bat Cave of Bear Country fame has a word giant in its name. What does it mean? Does it mean this or does it mean that? Is it the cave that's giant, or is it the bat? You mean that there's some kind of giant bat in that cave? Boy, if there is, that might be just the thing to stop Raffish Ralph. To scare him into dropping his scheme. Is there, Gramps? Is there a giant bat in Giant Bat Cave? Just a little rhyme we used to say when we were cubs. Does it mean this, or does it mean that? Is it the cave, or is it the bat? You ought to be ashamed putting ideas in the child's head. Oh, best place for him. Best place for him. What do you think? It's worth a try. 
A giant bat? In Bat Cave, you say? Giant bat. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> a base canard. A pusillanimous ploy to dissuade me from my public spirit and swindle. A scheme. A plan. To turn a useless eyesore into a mecca of beauty and recreation. <laughs> Here, my lovelies, two tickets for opening day. Look at her go! You know it's radio control, but how does it work? This box sends radio signals that tell the plane what to do. Watch, I'm gonna bring her in for a landing. Here she comes. Nice landing. Look, an old-fashioned biplane. Pulling a sign. Here, town, here. Coming soon. See newspapers for detail. Mama, Mama! Where's the newspaper? Newspaper? Why, your father is reading it. Now, don't you awaken him. He's been hard at work in the forest since dawn, and he needs his nap. Here it is, the Bear Town Fair. Wow, all kinds of exciting contests. Lots of great prizes. Look, a sack race, father and cub baseball, canoeing. Horseshoe pitching contest, a pizza contest. A pizza? We're talking about the Bear Town Fair, Papa. There's gonna be a pizza contest. Oh, uh, sure, the Bear Town Fair, a pizza eating contest. No contest, I can spot anybody in Bear Country six extra large pizzas with triple topping and win going away. No, Papa, not a pizza eating contest, a pizza twirling contest. A pizza twirling contest, now that's more like it. Oh dear. It's a twirling contest to be judged on form, height of twirl, and diameter of pizza. Prize is, prize is a large-sized pizza every day for a month from the Bear Country Pizzeria with your choice of toppings. Fried honeycomb with frog eggs. Yuck. Candy milkweed pods with skunk cabbage. Double yuck. Sweet and sour pine nuts with snail paste. Triple, quadruple, and double scribble yuck. And I can't lose. I am quite simply the best pizza twirler in these parts or any other parts. Just take the pizza so. Dear Papa, please. And so, pizza twirling contest, here I come. Yes, sir, make room for me and the Pizza Twirlers Hall of Fame. Sorry about that. Uh, why, as I birth and leave, uh, I mean, uh, live and breathe, it's my old bum, hey, I mean, uh, old chum, Papa Q Bear. I'll try pizza twirling, Mayor. Fine choice. But you realize, of course, that uh, you'll be up against some uh, pretty uh, stiff competition, eh? When it comes to pizza twirling, Mr. Mayor, I have no competition. I don't know, Papa. Yes, look who you're up against. Maestro Guarini, the symphony conductor. Oh, 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 my delightful friend. The twirl of the pizza is not in the luck, it is in the wrist. Oh, Papa Bear, I understand you are competing against me in the pizza twirling contest. That's right, Maestro, and I think you should be forewarned. All in the wrist. La 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 are you going to go through with it, Papa? Not only am I going to go through with it, I'm going to win the contest. I'm going to fix that Ruini and his silly wrist. Why, I'll out-twirl, out-toss, out Hmm, you never know. This just might be worth something to the Archweasel McCree. <laughs> What's this? Another 
bit of boring, worthless bear country trivia from that scoundrel Raffish Ralph? Bear Town Fair, entire population of bear country will be assembled. Papa Bear has entered the pizza twirling contest. Pizza twirling contest? Papa Bear? What in the name of all that's evil and greedy do I care if that fat-faced idiot Papa Q Bear entered a pizza twirling contest? Possibilities. Weasel! Yes, Archweasel? Get me the file on plan 453K. Yes, Archweasel? And arrange a meeting with that scoundrel roughish Ralph. Uh, is that you, McGreed? How many times must I tell you no names? All right, Mr. McGreed. Uh, <clears throat> whatever your name is. All right. You know what you have to do. Ah, that's right, my friend, and uh, and you know what you have to do. 